Hey everyone, welcome back. It is so good to be back. It has been a while, uh, at least maybe three weeks since I've been able to go live. But so glad that I can. Let me know if you can hear me if you're watching this. Also, if you're watching this but don't really want to interact in the chat, just drop a sunflower or the word sunflower in the chat and let me know that you are watching. I uh, just thought that'd be a fun little thing to do. Uh, you can still watch, but you don't have to chat. Just let me know that you're here. Um, but yeah, so excited to bring you some patriotic DIYs. I have not made any patriotic DIYs yet, so I am excited about it. Hey, Sharon, so glad you could make it. Um, I just have a couple quick ones. going to make um, a couple quick DIYs, but excited about them. Hope that you will chat with me and let me know what your plans are this weekend. Uh, we have a dinner at our church or a luncheon at our church. So excited about that. Uh, just, you know, celebrating the 4th of July Independence Weekend there. Just, yeah. So let's go ahead and let's get started. If you're watching the replay, hey, welcome and thank you for joining us at Sunflowers and DIY. So happy that you could watch this. Uh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and to give me a comment and share with your friends and family if you enjoyed, uh, whether you enjoy the DIYs or you just enjoy hanging out, right? <laughs> so, hey, so glad that you guys can make them and drop the camera down. Whoops, sorry about that. So, yes, uh, Parnell, Carmen, hey. So glad you guys could make it. Let's make sure that I'm in frame. All right, Let's see if I can move the computer. It's okay, not a big deal. All right, so let's go ahead and we're probably gonna have to do some painting first. So let's go ahead and let me get these out. So this is something I started, but I'm gonna change it now. And these are just, uh, it's a one by four and my husband just cut them down for me. And we're going to make a cute little mini faux um, book stack just out of some wood. We got these, I don't know, a few months back <coughs> and he cut them down for me. And then we are going to add this adorable napkin to it. And that's so cute. So this is basically your, your own book stack that you'll see right here, Faith, Family, and Freedom. I love that. And then on the back, you get this other adorable piece of napkin as well. So cute. Uh, for now, we're just gonna do the one. So, I need to get, I'm going to use apple barrel paint, except for my plaster, which is the white that I'll use. That is going to be Waverly Puff paint. If you haven't been around long, um, that is my favorite. I love this blue. I don't know if you guys have ever used this blue, but this blue is gorgeous. It's such a beautiful, in my opinion, patriotic blue. So we have our Admiral Blue and the Apple Barrel. I do have a backup if that one is completely empty. Yay. <laughs> um, and then for the red, we're going to use Flag Red. Fitting, right? So excited. Let's see if I can open this. Well, we'll just we'll just do it this way. I don't know. I'm hoping I can. I don't like pouring it out because then I feel like I put too much. I can always add more. So how's things going for y'all? It is, um, it's been a little crazy here. We, um, reason why we didn't go, I didn't go live for those few weeks is that we went out of town, visited my parents and spent, um, unexpectedly, we just went ahead and spent two weeks there and had fun though. We really enjoyed it. And then, um, then we came back and I stayed off the social media pretty much because I wanted to spend time with my hubby, Miss Town being away. So we, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna use the lid since there's already enough paint there. I'm going to use some different paint brushes. But so just gonna get this. This one is gonna be pretty easy because it's already, you know, mostly white. And I'm not gonna do too much of worrying about the, um, yeah, that's a nice long vacay, right? It was. We enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun with Grandpa. 
because I took, I took um, my three kids, my three toddlers, and I drove us to Tennessee. So I live in Missouri. So Tennessee um, is about an eight and a half hour drive. So um, it was okay though. They did really, I was really surprised how well they did for me. Um, I'd be willing to do that drive again with them. They did really good. Um, so I definitely would have redo, would redo that drive. I'm just gonna, I'm not sure why I'm doing this part. You're not gonna see this part because it's gonna be red, white, and the white's gonna be in the middle. So I guess I don't need to do that. So let's not waste time and paint. Let's set that aside if that dries there because I do need to put another coat on the front. So there's our whites. It's going good, very hot here. Yeah, we've had some pretty warm, um, pretty hot um, days too. Uh, tonight, so many be driving home at the work from the rain. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm so brave, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I At first I was really iffy, like seriously, are you just about to do this? You're gonna take three toddlers and drive eight and a half hours to your parents. Are you for real? And that morning came, they were up and at them. They were ready and excited to go see grandma and grandpa. So they did great. So I guess when your children have something to look forward to, it's not so bad, or at least for mine, it wasn't. Uh, Cause we don't get to see them very often. We probably see them maybe three times a year, maybe. Um, so like this year, they'll definitely be able to see them three times a year since I took them there. Um, in the beginning there so and then they've come they come here once so we usually go there twice and they come here once so we it's it, it's fun it was fun we enjoyed it um got to hang out and go to the park and got to see a few other friends that i hadn't seen in a while so that was exciting so there's that one let's go ahead and set that aside and let that one dry get this one out of the way so this is um, apple barrel paint, like acrylic paint. So it's not the chalk paint. I do prefer that, but honestly, the acrylic paint is cheaper for me to buy these colors that I don't use often. So I, it's not a big deal, but meaning that I will have to use a couple coats on some of them just so I can cover up some of the old areas that for this one, for sure. So, but that's okay. I'm just gonna try to get these on there and and I just love that blue. Look at that blue. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice or not. It's hard to tell. Sometimes you can tell and sometimes you can't. So the ones that you're not gonna see, I'm not worrying about. But since this one's gonna be on the bottom and if someone lifts up my for some reason or me lifts it up, be like, oh um, they'll see that it's blue too. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and paint that one blue as well. There's that one. And let's go back to this. Well, let's go back to the white. I had a little bit right here in the front and I got some red on it. That's okay. There we go. So that should take care of that one. I'm not looking for perfect, honestly. I'm, I'm keep, I got paint on my hands. I probably should wash my hands off before I touch them. <laughs> so there's that one. All right, so I guess let me go back here to this red one again. Get another quick coat on that. Get on there. So I appreciate y'all stopping by and watching. This means a lot to me and hopefully get back in the groove of things and um, can get more people to pop on would be fun too. But yeah, if you guys, if you like what you see here, don't forget to hit that like button and and share with your friends and your family or would be great. Also, if there are anyone on this chat with me, this live here, that is interested in um, um, Mary Kay, 
uh, reach out to me. I am on Facebook. I am on Instagram. And I am happy if you do not have a consultant, um, reach out to me and I'd be happy to, to chat with you. Um, I do have a VIP group that you are also more than welcome to come and join over there. Even if you just want to check it out, you never heard of Mary Kay and you just want to check it out. Um, after this live, I will put my link in the description box to join my VIP group. Um, Mary Kay is not just for women. We do have a line for men as well. So if you're interested, um, yay, I'm so excited to, you definitely have to let me know, Sharon, how you, what you like about it. And, you know, when you test that out, I love it. Um, my mom used to use it growing up when I was growing up. And then um, for a while there, it disappeared. Like we didn't, she didn't have any access to go because we've moved a lot so much. And um, anyway, so uh, years have went by and I had forgot all about Mary Kay. Well, finally, um, a cousin uh, introduced me to a friend of hers and I joined that group and she was a Mary Kay gal. So I was excited. I started watching more of the videos, started learning more and more about the product. And before you knew it, um, I talked to my husband and he's like, yeah, well, let's give it a try and see, you know, and I just love it. Uh, they're, all their product is made right here in the USA, which is a big deal to me. It's very important to me that, that things like that are made in the USA. I love that. And then also, um, this, uh, we're celebrating 60 years of being, um, Mary Kay is celebrating 60 years of being founded 60 years ago. I mean, that's, that's a long time. I mean, you know, something's working for them to be that long, but they have amazing stuff. Their products, their facility actually where they make everything is in Texas, um, which is very exciting to me. Uh, that is one place that I've always wanted to go. Um, so I definitely cannot wait to be able to one day, you know, venture out to Texas. Uh, I don't know why. Um, I just, I just, I just want to go to Texas. I mean, it uh, sounds very exciting and very fun. Um, maybe mo more so because of, um, I'm a country girl for sure at heart. I love the country. I love, <clears throat> I love those old timey movies and I mean, you'll be surprised, you know, like, really? I mean, you seem so young. Why would you even be interested in that? That is, yeah, that is a long time, Sharon, right? Um, but I am. I, I just love that. That is my, that is my thing. Um, old timey, you know, old timey things like that. Like, uh, let's see. So we got red. Okay, we're going to have to get that red another coat. That's going to go on top. That's really rough. Who, who rusted? So I'm going to give this another quick coat right here. That blue, that red is just soaking up. That's all right. <laughs> Sorry, if you hear my little one, he's he's calling me. Just a minute. What, baby? I'm right here. All right, hold on. Okay, it'll, it'll, it'll come back on by itself, baby, okay? Okay, well then you're gonna have to just give me a few minutes. Okay, let me let me get this video finished. I'm I'm live right now. You tell everyone say hey everyone. Hey everyone. <laughs> so that is uh one of my twins, um, Malachi. Yeah, a long time. I love I love that. I mean, sixty years. I am still with Chocolate Tour. But uh, they're just now celebrating five years, so they have a lot of kinks to work out. Um, I do love Chocotour. I do. Um, but 60 years is a long time. You know that something's going on. They're doing something right, and it's going great. So I love the fact about that. All right. So I think we're ready. Let me dry this up. I know a few times I've asked if you got if this is too loud. I hope it's not too loud for y'all. Yeah. 
a video in? Yeah, I'm actually live. I'm talking to people in the chat. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So we got this going. Gonna drive this up right quick. So if you're just popping on, we're making a book stack. What's a book stack? Uh, just a pretend stack of books. Us crafters are silly. We think we need a pretend book stack. But I think they're adorable. All right. That should be good enough. Okay, so we got... I'm right here, baby. All right, so I'm just going to trim up this napkin. Oh, well, that's cool. So you get two of the God Bless America sides. Then you get two of the Faith Family Freedom side. Awesome. So I'm going to open this up. going to trim this out here. And if you wanted to, you could easily, I don't know where I got these napkins. Um, Sharon said, hey. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> um, I really do not remember where I got these napkins from. These are adorable napkins. I wish I did. Um, if I had to guess, it's probably, put that back, baby. I don't want you to get points on. If I had to guess, maybe something like Walmart or something, or I don't know. I've not seen something like this at before. We're just going to trim these out. I need that, baby. Where are you taking that? I need that. And I'm a terrible cutter, no matter how many times there's a line there or not. Terrible cutter. Why? Hard to cut a straight line. What, baby? You had to turn it on. Honey, I don't understand why I had to turn it on. I turned it on before I came in here. Oh, but it's off. It's off, Mommy. All right, you're just going to have to give me a few minutes. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, stop that. Okay. All right, so let's see what I can do here. So we're going to do... Mommy, I just hear her. I just hear her. Moses, Moses, Mommy, down, I down. I just hear her. All right, and I'm probably going to have to call Daddy so Daddy can come, come and get y'all or something, okay? Why? Because mommy is trying to get what this are you, done. What are you doing? What are you saying, Maxwell? Mommy's on live, okay? So anything that y'all are talking right now, the people can hear you. You may not be able to hear them, but they can hear you. <laughs> All right, sorry, we got to turn this up. Like that right there. They can hear Malachi whine. They don't want to hear Malachi whine. Me. Guys, don't push each other. Stop. This is my table. I was here first. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. You guys, come on. Can you please just go play until until I'm done, okay? And then I'll turn it back on for you, okay? I wanna go get daddy. Honey, her daddy is busy. He's trying to get done. <laughs> I can't get out now. All right, hopefully this works. So I don't know. I hope you guys can see me okay. All I did was put this on it, and it's too it's too big. So I'm just trying to trim it up a bit here. Because I, I really don't want hangover. All right, that should be better. All right, so again, you want to make sure, too, to get the supplies off. Honey, don't touch the paint. No, this Michael. <laughs> It's so funny. Get it wiped off. Where's that wipe that I just had? Oh, I knocked it off. Well, pick it up. Give it to your brother. Moses, stop, honey. Okay. I do have... I'm getting them out, please. Okay, where's your sister? Here, go press that middle button. Go press what? the middle button. See if that works. Don't press any other button except for that middle button that I pointed to. I... All right. Let's see if this will do for me. So you don't need much. That's the good thing about Mod Podging. You just give it a good um, thin, thin layer. And I'm going to pick up this napkin. All right. Don't wrinkle up on me, buddy. All right, and then any other hangover, I can easily take and just sand it off. 
And there's a little wrinkle, but you know, that is okay. Because if we're trying to go with the rustic like theme here, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, so I just took the edge there and just sanded it down. So I'm going to add a little bit more just to the top. And then this will dry while I go ahead and do my other one. And if it's not dried by the time I get done to it, I'll just get my heat gun out and, and dry it. But I wanted to make some red. I wanted to make some last year, some um, patriotic DIYs, but I did not get to it, unfortunately. And I love patriotic DIYs. I think they are so I would like to line them up. So let's see. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good there. Wow. There. All right. So I'm going to do that again. Um, But I didn't get to, so I am glad that. I heard you. You heard us up there? I did. Did you tell Daddy? Is that what you went up there for? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, okay, so getting, I know I'm out of frame, y'all, I'm so sorry. I think I have to have the scissors, like, close to my face. All right, so let's get this piece off. All right, so we got that. Pull this piece off. Oh, wow, that paint is coming off onto my, be careful with your red paint. It's going to come off onto my white surface. That will be our distressing mechanism. All right. So, let's make sure it's lined up again. I did it the first time. Don't want to take that chance to not get it the next time. Uh. All right. There we go. Let's add a little bit more Mod Podge here. Not enough on my brush. All righty. There we go. So it's getting there. We're getting there. So here's this, how it's looking. So let's go ahead and get the, um, the blue. Um, I think I'll put that in the back. So again, we have, um, this month we've already divvied out the names and stuff for July Napkin Exchange. But if you are interested in joining that challenge, the Napkin Exchange, uh, please reach out to me, reach out to any of the ones that are already in it. And we will be happy to add you to the chat. Um, and then you can be ready for the napkin exchange in August. Because I am I plan on doing this as of right now. I plan on doing this all the way up to, um, to December as of right now. I may add it to go longer. But as of right now, it's just to December. So... Um, but I am enjoying it, so I probably will go again and just maybe change up the rules a bit or something. Um, it's been a lot of fun. And it's been really, um, really, they're coming out too. Yay. Oh, I just put my next to people. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so just giving this a real quick quick here and add my cute little freedom here right. and then once this dries um i can go back in and sand off any other pieces the only reason why i did that other one is because it was as closer on the edge and i knew it really wouldn't mess it up or anything but you don't you want to be very careful at sanding it off before it's dried that's for sure, because you'll know. They'll mess it up. They'll tear it. So 
I love the fact that you can still see it. I was gonna, I was a little iffy about that if you were gonna be able to see it or not still. So I am so glad that you can. But there it is, Faith Family Freedom. So I'm gonna let get that. Oh, I put it upside down. That was supposed to be my bottom piece. <laughs> That's all right. I can go back in a minute. Yes, the challenge has been so much fun. I've enjoyed it. And I've enjoyed everyone that has been participating. It's so exciting, you know, that so many would that so many enjoy it. All right. So now I'm gonna have to repaint this one. If I don't do it now, I'll end up forgetting and then I'll just put it back on the back burner. I'll probably just do a quick one. I probably won't even go with it. Like, I might not even need it more. Probably good. There we go. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna leave it like this. I just wanted it to know that it was covered and that it was done. You know, not imperfect. All right. So, you guys have any fun plans for the Fourth of July? All right, there is that. So, so, so cute. I love it. Um, I need to stop, but I keep seeing different random weird spots in the red. It's okay. We're just going to have to make it look rustic. All right, so... I was going to wrap some ribbon around this, but the word freedom is long oh that'd be fun but decided yeah like yeah right um but that freedom word is long so i don't know if i still should or shouldn't maybe i'll just add some twine a little bit of twine to it and of course i don't have but i was thinking what if i did this to the top i don't know y'all let me know you think that I should just go ahead and put the God Bless America on top of the top book? Or should I just should I just leave it? I'm gonna grab my twine right quick. Alright, so twine or no twine? I mean, um, this word, this napkin on top, leave it? Okay. All right, let's see how this looks with it. I don't know. I probably just leave it. I don't know. But I love the way that um, red, white, and blue, I don't know. There's just something about it, having the red, white, and blue with the um, wine. I don't know. It's just so rusty. And of course, I don't have them even. There we go. That should be better. All right, so I'm just gonna tie that on. It may end up covering too much and I may not. I should have probably had a bigger piece of twine. I still do. If we like it, I can totally do it. And if I had one of my stars here, I probably could have even put a little star there. But what do y'all think? Do you think that covers the word freedom too much? So there it is. I think I moved it enough. There, is that better? That might be better. Hopefully. I don't know. Y'all let me know. If you like that. Okay, you like it? Okay. Well, we'll leave that sit right there. Okay. 
Yeah, true. All right, there we go. I guess it would help if I actually look at it when I'm trying to move the coin, right? There you go. Oh, hey, Robin. I didn't even see that you came in. I'm sorry. Hey. So there it is. All right, let's move on to the next one. This one won't be as long. Just because this is... <laughs> I started this last year, y'all, okay? For this project. See, there's my there's my flag and all the work I put in it. So it's already ready, already painted. We're gonna go ahead and mod podge, mod podge on this side. Love it. I am glad you love it. So I'm going to use this napkin for this house. I thought this would be so 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 cute for it. And it literally, like, it's almost perfect on here. I mean, a little bit of this flag will come off, but, you know, it's okay. It is still really cute. And I may even put some of the fireworks, too, just because. So, and again, I do not know where I got this adorable napkin, if you were wondering. I am sorry. I do have, I believe I have some extra if, if someone was interested in me sending them one or two. See if I can get in here. Sometimes it's really simple and other days it wants to be really hard for me. Oh, hey Gwen. Hey, how are you? Thank you for popping on. And of course, I'm going to struggle on this one. Y'all are watching me. You've got to stop watching. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't get it. These fat fingers is not working. Okay, there it goes. Got it. I've seen the technique. Um, hey, Nancy. Hey, that's okay. That is okay. I'm glad you're here. I've seen the technique with tape and all, but I don't have a piece of tape sitting right here, so... But since y'all missed that, this is what we just did. So you didn't miss much. The books were already cut and pretty much pre-painted. I don't know. <laughs> so, yes, a piece of painter tape. Yes, it would help. Um, but I don't have a piece of tape right here. Because <laughs> I saw that. I'm like, you know, I should have some tape right here where I'm crafting at, you know. All right, so this one's going to be really fun and simple, y'all. Yeah, I probably shouldn't even call this DIY. So if you have not seen this technique that I'm about to do, I highly, or have done it, I highly recommend you doing it. Yeah, it's had to be, I get it. Yep, same here. That's why I have to say seven because, <laughs> because I have to feed him too. <laughs> and three kids. Definitely would not um, leave me alone if I did not. I want a snack. I'm hungry. I want a snack. <laughs> All right. So I just put a real quick, as you saw, I put way too much, which I tend to do that every once in a while. So I'm going to take my heat gun. I'm going to dry this. And you're probably thinking, why would she do that? You'll see in just a second. I'm gonna dry this right quick. Yes, I did it myself. That's right. That's right. Yeah, no one else did this house with the napkin on it. But this is what made me fall in love with uh, Mod Podging, this technique right here. You first want to make sure they got Mod Podge everywhere. All right, so you know, dry it. I already have my iron hot. I'm going to place this napkin exactly where I want it to go. And then 
Um, I'm going to find my parchment paper. First, I gotta get everything out of my way. I'm gonna find my big piece of parchment paper. The only reason why it's so big is because I'm working on a project and I had to cut it out big. I'll actually show y'all in just a second. Give me just a minute and I'll show y'all. And then you're gonna take this iron and you're just gonna smooth it out. Very carefully, just like this, a few times over it. And then you'll lift it up. You're gonna remove this. And what I like to do, I like to double check my edges to make sure that it adhered. Because if it didn't, I wanna go back over it. But it adhered, it adhered great. All right, so there it is. And I'm trying to get it close. There are no wrinkles. I love this. And for something like this, it is smooth. It is. I just love it. Love it. So now that it's dried already, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sandpaper. This is actually the sanding blocks from Dollar Tree, but they wear out. So I just take their sandpaper and hot glue it to it because I like the sponge. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to go away from my, my house, my surface here. Clean lines. Look at that. I just love this. This is really, this is what made me fall in love with my um, Mod Podging. And that you could get a, speaking of Mod Podging, y'all, I got to show you my cup. It has been that long already. I can't believe it. And, oh, I get to use it now. I'm so excited. All right, just making sure I got all the edges down. So, of course, this is um, the napkin still on top. So, you definitely want to adhere the Mod Podge. Yes, if you have not tried this, um, any of y'all, I highly recommend it. Um, I think it would work on anything, literally. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to show you what I already did it to, and I love it. All right, so can someone tell me what they think this is? What do you think this is before I before I tell you? Well, let me know what you all think that is. Yes, it is Nancy. It is a fan blade. So my husband and I are redoing this house, okay? And I asked him to bring me the fan blades there because he wasn't putting them back in the house. And I'm like, yes, I am totally going to DIY a fan blade. I was so excited. But look how well it adhered to it because I used the iron technique. There are literally no wrinkles in it. I love it. So I'm excited to get them finished just to see how it look. I mean, you know, if you were, um, if you, you know, didn't like that style, you just put them in your, um, I don't know, in a, what's it called? The sitting rooms, you know, a sunroom, put it in there, you know, something fun and different, you know, just, I mean, he was, he wasn't going to keep them. I mean, like he wasn't going to put them back in that house. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll DIY it. So I got excited about that, really excited about that. So I'm just gonna add a quick layer of Mod Podge back over this, the entire thing, even up here where I already did. Um, and you'll know if you miss Mod Podge because you'll see a shiny part and then, okay, that is neat, Nancy, a dragonfly, what was that? I should have gotten a bigger brush, but I was doing tiny projects at first. <laughs> I didn't think it was a problem. All right, so quickly going to add another, making sure I got, oh, there's a missed a piece. And like I said, you'll know if you missed any. <laughs> so there is that little guy, so cute. I think I'm gonna have to grab some more, um, give me just a second, I'm gonna have to grab some more. Oh, 
And let's dry this. All right, I think that's good. All right, so I think I'm going to take We'll see. If I don't like it, or we don't like it, I will take it off. Let's see here. I'm terrible with bows, by the way, too, y'all. <laughs> Thank goodness for editing sometimes. <laughs> like, I made a DIY. Um, Actually, this morning, <laughs> I struggled so much on the bow. And I have made the bows before, you know, but like this one's going to give me a hard time. But it was so funny. I was like, seriously, you can't even make this bow that you've made probably half a dozen times, if not more. So who knows? Maybe I should just tie it in a knot and add some beads to it instead. So here's this little guy. Aren't they so cute? I just I just love them. I think they're adorable. We have this. So it's like making a little tiered tray cuties. I think it's so much fun. So much fun. I probably could have gotten away with adding some more sparklers up there. Or fireworks. Oh, oh, let's see here. What else am I going to do? So I'll show you all again. Bows, yes, they're, they're, yeah, they got their own mind, that's for sure. So, and then we put a little bow on that, if you can call it a bow. <laughs> but I love how vibrant and bright this truck is. It's just so, I don't know, it is just adorable. And one of the reasons why I wanted to add the bow is so that it would cover up the remaining of this, you know, not make it so obvious, because, like, I don't think it's that bad, but. And then here's the adorable um, book stack, which this is a one by four. Uh, it's just one big one by four. You cut them down with one board. I can't remember. Um, I've gotten at least, I got six book stacks or maybe, maybe eight of them. I think I got eight actually. You like them both? Thank you, ladies. Thank you, everyone. I want to make something else. So I can use this adorable little sign. Maybe I'll just make a cute little sign. It says, God bless America. My um, tumbling tower queen is on here. The tumbling tower block. Nancy, if you guys don't watch her, you should go watch her. She has lots of tumbling tower block DIYs. It's so fun. From Cheek to Chic is on here. She does a lot of paper crafting, which um, I made my first uh, paper craft for her today. Got that out in the mail. And then Gwen at Home with Gigi has a lot of adorable DIYs as well. There's a lot of farmhouse. Uh, she had a video that came out today. So cute. Robin's buys and DIYs. She has a lot of DIYs too. Um, actually, I need to get back over there. It's been a while since I've watched her. I do apologize. I am subscribed to a lot of people, y'all. And I probably shouldn't be because I feel so bad not being able to watch everyone. Um, but yeah, yeah, that parent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. It's hard. Those fat fingers get in the way when you're trying to make a DIY. So I'm going to, if y'all need to go, you go for it. I understand. But I think I'm going to add a few tumbling tower blocks together. I already have my glue gun heating up, so it's not going to hurt anything. And this is the Gorilla Glue, so I feel like they do really well. It's not a hard, it's not a problem. Oh yeah, it's, I mean, it is, it's crazy. I mean, I really, I mean, I hate that I am subscribed to so many because I feel, I'm terrible. I'm sorry, y'all. I really do. Like, I was just apologizing to Nancy for not getting over there to her channel in a while. Oh, bye, Carmen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Really enjoyed you hanging out. Um, 
So I was just telling Nancy that I am so sorry I haven't been over there in a while and I just felt bad. I really, I really do. So this is about the size that I need. Maybe a little bit more. I'm gonna wing this y'all because I have no idea what I'm doing. I just this was last minute decision here. So like I said, if you have to go, I completely understand. So I started a um I started my DIYs for Miss Um what's uh what's her name? I just lost her name. Oh my god. Uh, Brenda over at Moner's Market. Um I was Good great. What was I trying to say? Oh, she has a thing that comes out for um, Bloom with Grace Challenge. There it is. Um, she has that that comes out uh, in a few weeks. And so I started those DIYs. So hopefully she'll be able to get do it and we'll be able to do it. If not, you know, it's okay. They're going to be um, beautiful DIYs anyway, and I'll still I'll still show them. So it's not like it's only meant for that for that video. Like it's very versatile, very fun anyway. A couple more. And also, if you have worked with Tumbling Tower Block, the Gorilla Wood Glue, I love using that stuff. Actually, I probably should have used that. Um, it dries actually really fast too. And every time I've used it, I get great results with it. It's not, you know, it's not giving me a hard time or anything. Of course, I... The only thing that gets frustrating about these little guys, though, is that <laughs> they're never the same. There we go. We'll go with that side. That side lined up better. We'll go with that one. <laughs> All right. Let's see if it works. Oh, perfect. And I don't know how it's going to look, but we'll see. I guess I'm in the mood to make some cuties for a tear tray. I haven't made tear tray stuff in a while. So that was one, two, three, four, five. So six and six and then two in the middle. And that just gives it the extra stability. All right. So we're going to go with white because we don't need it any other color. And I'm not too worried about those, those, um, gaps and stuff. I think it's going to be just fine. Not too big a deal for me. Just going to give it um, using the plaster again. So like I said, forget to check out um, each other's channels on here. Um, something sparks your interest. And I hope that you guys have a great weekend, you know, have a safe but fun and exciting, exciting weekend. Piece of blue hair. Right? Yeah, I love tear trays. Um, actually, that was um, one of my first videos I ever put out was a tear tray um tear tray DIY I say one of them because I think it was actually my second video that I actually put out um here on YouTube and I just I just loved how it turned out don't mind the editing if you go back please don't judge me on that editing um I have come a long ways with my editing and with my voiceovers and yeah, I was watching one of them today just because I don't know what possessed me, but I was. And I'm like, oh, man, this is awful. <laughs> I'm surprised I even had any subscribers back then. <laughs> because believe it or not, um, in August, I will be celebrating my one year anniversary here on YouTube. I am so excited about that. 
Um, I was actually, my goal is to get to a thousand subscribers. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, Nancy. I love your DIYs. I love what you do. I love your creations. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I love that you do so much with the tumbling tower blocks. I'm telling you, y'all, she is the tumbling tower block queen. Um, and then if you're interested in a um a uh, farmhouse queen, go check out Missy from Crafty Cove. She is definitely the farmhouse queen. Absolutely beautiful DIYs. I mean, they're gorgeous. I just love everything she makes. She loves the farmhouse, the black and white buffalo check, which is one of my favorites. We actually did, um, we collaborated just, I don't know, it was, it's probably been a couple weeks now, maybe. I don't know. All my days and stuff has been going whew, way too fast. I can't keep up anymore. But I do know that I need to pour some water in my bowl. My paintbrushes are going to get ruined. And I heard a tip about adding a little dish soap to it. I haven't done that yet. I really need to. Maybe I just get a little tiny bottle in my craft room. I forget who said that. That might have been Connie over at um, Connie's crea uh, Creative Connie or something. I forget how it goes, how it's, how it's called. So there's this. Real quick, drying this up. I don't think it'll matter too much if it's completely dried or not. I think I'm going to grab a bigger paint. Well, that's okay. No need to keep wasting paint brushes. All right. So again, we're just going to do a quick. I'm going to try it, but I haven't tried it yet uh, to do a tumbling tower one like this with the with the iron. But I'm going to give it a try while y'all are watching. We'll see how it goes. And y'all know not to try it if, if it doesn't work out for me. <laughs> again, I did it again, y'all. You think I get this down pat? You definitely don't want this much Mod Podge. This is how you're going to get your wrinkles in there for sure. And this will be the last DIY. I've enjoyed it. Um, I couldn't just stop. I enjoyed being on here live with y'all. Um, it gives me something to, to chat about with everyone. I love making things. I love crafting. But most important, I love chatting it up with y'all and getting getting y'all on here with me and getting excited. So I appreciate you, appreciate each and every one of you stopping by to watch this channel, to watch me make DIYs. I know there's no sunflower. Maybe I should just put a sunflower in the back of that truck. That'd be cute. Just add up. Um, yeah, I saw your reel about that pegboard, uh, Nancy. That is awesome. That is really exciting. Um, I think it's called a reel. I'm still really new to that kind of stuff. All right. This one was not as hard. Oh. Okay, maybe it was. Okay, there it is. <laughs> um, but I think that'd be really cool. Um, the pegboard thing to try and um Try and get that going. I saw a few of the um, odds and ends stuff for the pegboard at Dollar Tree back in Tennessee, but um, they didn't actually have the actual pegboard. I'm like, okay, really? Are you really going to do this to me here? Really? But it's okay. All right, let's see if this works. The reason why I wasn't thinking that it would work or not is because of the. Um, um the grooves but we'll see make sure your fingers and your hands are out of the way and that wasn't too quick that wasn't too long i mean i didn't plan this diy just i love this napkin i feel like it goes perfect with this um with this video and i just had to keep it going because napkins have inspired me 
Okay, y'all, it did really good. I feel like this would be a faster way to add this. And that's so, where's the camera? There it is. Isn't that so cute? I mean, this napkin is just so bright and vibrant. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I haven't seen, done DIYs with, um, what's it called? Uh, patriotic DIYs in a while. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But I love this. But I didn't think about um, the hot glue and the heat from the, from the, what is this thing? The iron. So we'll see how well that does. All right, we're almost there. I'll be careful. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> oh, that is true. Good idea. That really would. Especially if you had a nice porch and deck and fun stuff out there yeah um me neither uh sharon i was i probably would have or would have been pretty close tempted to if um um if they would have had everything there but considering they didn't have everything there i just walk away all right, there we go. Now I need some more jute. <laughs> but I am going to have to add a, a fan, though. Let's see if I should do... Oh, let's see, should I do that? I might have to do this. I don't know. We'll have to see what works. I don't know which one's going to work better for it. Yes, yeah, great idea. Right, I like that idea. The... um. The um, I just stand up. The coaster idea, I do like that. That is such a cute idea. It's a good thing no one's gonna see the back here. Is a funny um <clears throat> um Sharon two by two blocks <clears throat> um what is that what's the two by two blocks are you referring to about actually this stands up I think I said that to y'all and it flips over <laughs> all right it actually stands up I may just leave it I was gonna add another one down there I don't know Okay, maybe we will. We'll just add one more right here in the center of it because it does want to kind of be top heavy. All right, there we go. That should be fine. But I should have made sure it was centered. Good thing that's the back. But there it is. Look how cute this is. I personally. Put that away. Put that away. So you've got your adorable little faux book stack, adorable little house here. Um, yeah, house, that's what it is. <laughs> yes, thank you. I can open my own. Yeah, there you go. You can... <laughs> yeah, um. My husband cracks me up every time he comes in here. And he always makes a joke about it, too, about how much stuff I have in the craft room. And I'm like, honey, you really think about it? What I have is not much at all compared to these other crafters that I've seen. <laughs> it just cracks me up. I love the house one. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you coming and stopping by and watching with me. I do. It means so much to me. And I turn my camera. So, 
thank you again for watching with me and I really have enjoyed it. I'm so glad to be back. So we will be back on our regular schedule every Friday at 7 p.m. Central Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I had to fix that. So thank you. Here is the house. And here is the book stack. It's amazing what you can do with napkins. And here is the adorable little sign. May you all have a super fabulous, blessed weekend. Be safe out there. And remember, be someone's sunshine. Thank you guys. Bye.